you said something about the importance of peer assessment and peer learning. Would you have any examples of how to do that efficiently in practice using specific tools? Um, well, I mean, something as simple as blogging uh, could be used because you can set up blogs in so many different ways, but you can you can assign a blogging task and then require that um, maybe in groups, maybe in assigned pairs, uh, require that the students respond to the blog posts um, and not just respond in a general way, but respond according to certain criteria. It could be the classic two things I like, one thing I would improve, or it could be something that's specifically related to the material. Um, so that that would be one simple way of of doing uh, peer review. Um, you could use uh, rubrics as well um, and get the students to assess um, their peers according to a rubric and that in itself would be a very um, valuable learning exercise because I think that uh, students don't often take much notice of a rubric if you give it to them um, so that the grade at the end comes as a surprise but if they have to first of all assess their peers according to a rubric that takes the personal part out of it so that if somebody gets a low grade it's not because the person who, who gave the grade didn't like them but because they were following a rubric and they were thinking hard about the different items on the rubric and whether what they were reading or looking at met the items on the rubric so it's a very um, high level analytical task is to is to grade something according to rubric. Now I know rubrics are not appropriate in all cases, so that's just one example that would be relevant in certain circumstances. Maybe not all, and I think maybe students would get bored if everything had a rubric. But um, it's just one example of what you can do.